Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Well, the Alexandria has been found. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at the Alexandria's resting place, how you can access the logs, and also play the logs. There are going to be spoilers involved in this video, so be warned. I will be playing those logs and then discussing what's happened with the logs just after. Now, some of you may remember that back in 3307, A to be precise, the Thargoids were pursuing an Aegis megaship after a community goal where people had to stock it up with Thargoid materials. This megaship was the Alexandria, and the Alexandria jumped from Delphi to the HIP 16538 system, triggering a Thargoid attack. Now, this Thargoid attack was all about, we think, the Guardian artifacts that were stored on the megaship. The megaship was carrying large quantities of Guardian artifacts, which were delivered as part of a research program by Aegis. The captain of the Alexandra, Captain Jacob Morales, commanding officer of the Alexandra, has broadcast an SOS. This is an emergency. We scheduled a stopover in HIP 16538 for tritium refueling en route to the Sol system, but the Argoid interceptors came swarming in within minutes. We require immediate assistance. Grim stuff indeed. In response to this, Admiral Aidan Tanner, the Chief Military Liaison Officer for Aegis, then announced. We believe that the third joints are reacting to the concentrated presence of Guardian technology stored within Alexandria's cargo holds. Not only has the attack placed its crew and the population of this system in danger, but we risk losing these extremely valuable research materials. Aegis is asking anti-Xeno squadrons and independent pilots to help destroy all Thergoid vessels within HIP 16538 and protect the Alexandria. Let's forward to January the 22nd, 3308. There's a bit of a lull in the game in January, but some commanders after the Thursday refresh started getting a spurious message, pointing them towards a particular system. This was soon followed up by a Galnet article, detailing that the Alexandria had indeed been found. The Aegis megaship Alexandria, which vanished in hyperspace seven months ago, has been found in the Rego TCXB290 system. A select group of independent pilots located the Alexandria following a search instigated by Professor Alba Tesro, former head of research at Aegis. She was forced to resign as a result of the Bauman report, which was instigated by the controversial loss of this megaship. In June 3307, the Alexandria was pursued by Thurjoy vessels due to a considerable number of Guardian artifacts held on board. It initiated a hyperspace jump to the HIP 30944 system to offload its cargo but never arrived. The megaship was assumed to have been hyperdicted by the Thurjoids, resulting in the death of all 4,000 crew members. According to on-site witnesses, the remains of the Alexandria are currently scattered across the planetary rings of Rego TCXB 290-AB2A. Ships are investigating the debris, but so far have not reported finding any survivors or guardian relics. Chief Administrator Carter Armstrong made a public statement. According to on-site witnesses, the remains of the Alexandria are currently scattered across the planetary rings of Rego TCXB 290-AB2A. Ships are investigating the debris, but so far have not reported finding any survivors or guardian relics. Chief Administrator Carter Armstrong made a public statement. So thank you to all the avid commanders who found the Alexandria so quickly it was time to get ourselves over to the system in mention. In regards to this, you need to get yourself to one of the massive gas giants with rings in system. And in the asteroid field of the rings, you will find six locations. And in those six locations, you'll find the logs and destruction sites of the Alexandria. Now, as you can see, there's a system map. In the system map, it's the big gas giant. In the center, you can see there's also some fleet carriers there as well. That's the one we want, AB2. It's got helium, it's got hydrogen. It's a big old planet. 
but here you're going to find the six logs. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to be going through the logs a little bit later on in this video. As a result of which, you're then going to see, once you get close enough, you'll see six degraded emission points. These emission points move from the outside of the ring into the center of the planet. And these contain the destruction and the logs. Now, what you're looking for is a flight recorder. These flight recorders are dotted around the wreckage, one per degraded emission site. That represents the distress beacon sent out by the flight recorder. Just follow the main link and you will find it tucked away inside a little bit of wreckage. Get there at the right time of day and it won't be in pitch darkness as what happened on my stream on the weekend, but you'll get some stunning visuals. May 28th, 3307. Captain Morales, private log. I guess it's about time for an update, huh? These past few weeks have been rough. After the Thargoid attacks I mentioned last time, the plan was for the Alexandria to leave Delphi and seek refuge in the Sol system. It's about as safe a location as humanity has to offer. Right. Well, the Thargoids followed us to our first waypoint in HIP-16538. The only reason the Alexandra is still intact is due to independent pilots jumping in to protect us. God knows how this war would have panned out without them. To really put the speech shine on things, the Federation banned the Alexandria from entering its space a few days ago. They're convinced that our cargo is attracting the Thargoids. <sighs> Maybe they're right. I thought the Targoid curse was nonsense, but something's drawing them like flies around crap. It's no secret that Guardian Tech stirs Targoids up pretty badly. Maybe Aegis should have thought of that before filling my ship's cargo holds with this stuff. A few of my crew have suggested jettisoning the Guardian artifacts. I understand why. They're nervous. But the cargo is critical to Aegis's work. We have to make sure the cargo is dispersed securely via Aegis craft. Not easy to do while there's Thargoids and the civilian population to worry about. Since Souls of the Menu, the Alexandria has been redirected to HIP-30944. It's a practically empty system. We have vessels farming the tritium for the jump, but it's dangerous out there with the Thargoids prowling. I estimate the week before we're ready to move. Anyway, that's it for now. I need to contact Admiral Tanner to discuss the cargo exchange schedule. Hopefully, I'll have some better news next time. Attention all crew, this is Captain Morales. The Alexandria has not arrived in HIP-30944 as planned. Our current location is unknown. All navigational systems have been disabled, and our FST is offline. Long-range sensors are fried. Communication arrays are down. I'll be honest with you. It looks like the ship has been sabotaged by someone who knew exactly what to do. My guess is we're floating between star systems. Dead space, my grandpa called it. Could be here for a while. What I can tell you is that life support is still running and emergency power looks stable. We're not going to run out of air or heat anytime soon. Our cargo and stores are intact. There's a lot of work ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm confident that we'll get ourselves home, but it's not going to be easy. I need every one of you calm and focused. Officers will be given a full rundown of tasks in the next hour or so. Do everything you're told as efficiently as possible, and the Alexandria will be up and running before you know it. Stay frosty. Morales out.
July 3rd, 3307. Captain Morales, private log. It's been a month since the failed hyperspace jump. We're still dead in the water. So to speak. Our technicians are working 16-hour days, but aren't achieving much. Whoever sabotaged us knew everything about the Alexander's operation. They corrupted our computer and wiped all alternates and backups. Most of our interface panels are useless. I can't even order a hot drink from the damned vending machines anymore. The hardware was crippled as well. Even our shuttles and fighters. Grant assessed the damage and can't work out how the hell it happened. But it happened all right. I'd be impressed if I didn't have 4,000 crew looking to me to get them home. Instead, I want to strangle whoever did this to us. Morales. Where? Port side. Meet me in Docking Bay 1. Fernier oh, says a bunch of heavy freighters just dropped out of hyperspace nearby. Given that we're not broadcasting a signal, they're either the luckiest search party in the galaxy, or they knew exactly where to look. This is Captain Morales. We're on the engineering deck of the Alexandria. About 300 of us, roughly. We're all that's left. The unidentified ships hailed us, claimed a problem with our FSD was detected just before the failed hyperspace jump. Someone called the Witch had arranged the rescue operation and spent a month tracking us down. I reviewed their orders and everything seemed legit. Not that I had much choice. The Alexandria is stranded. We agreed to take the shuttles and my crew was separated into groups of a hundred per shuttle. I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off, though. I noticed our rescuers were still carrying their weapons. Amel saw him first. Damn it, I, I can't remember the man's name. He hit the viewport from the outside. Just floated out of the black and bounced off the screen. They must have ejected him out of a shuttle. He won't have been the only one. I gave the order to resist. Not many of us had weapons, but my crew, trust me, we fought hard, but they were better equipped and well trained. I managed to secure a rear guard as we funneled everyone we could to the back of the ship, towards the engineering deck. The main entrance is defensible, and the hatches have been barricaded. Bernier managed to grab a captive, too. I'll get some answers out of them soon. <sighs> It must be the Guardian artifacts they're after. They're the only items on board valuable enough to kill for... No. Slaughter. Four. So many of my crew. We need a plan. And fast. July 15th, 3307. Captain Morales, private log. We're still alive, for now. The invaders are long gone, along with the Guardian artifacts and almost all our supplies. The Alexandria's remaining food has been salvaged from vending machines and personal items. The crew are rationing pretty hard, but we'll be lucky to make it over a month. They've left us here to starve. The captive didn't give us much. Just a name, age, rank. Nothing about the organization that hired him. We roughed him up a bit, but he still wouldn't spill. The only interesting thing he said was after I warned him that the amount of Guardian tech his friends were stealing would probably attract Thargoids. The guy smiled and said that was the point all along. <sighs> anyway, we've left him tied up. It's obvious we need to get the Alexandria moving again. One of the engineering team, a rookie named Landis, has proposed a method of getting a single jump out of the frame shift drive. I'll admit it sounds more dangerous than I'm comfortable with, but we're out of options. The odds 
are set against us, but we have one more roll of the dice. Maybe. So there you have it, the fate of the Alexandria megaship. So Aegis had it all stocked up with Guardian technology. Other factions obviously wanted that technology and the crew were just collateral damage. From saboteurs to dwindling food stocks to a rash effort to do an FSD jump. You've got to feel sorry for this crew here. Anyway, I'm sure we'll find out who took all those materials in other updates to come. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, see you soon.